beyond that, I think one of the main draws of moving into the Kubernetes space, and again, something which drew me into Kubernetes when, when I saw it back in the day, um, and more so to this day, is that it forces you to think about things around your workload up front. And it's baked into the proposition. So for a number of engineering teams over a number of years, when it comes to sufficiently designing things such as failover, designing the idea of scaling, design, architecting certain patterns, these things have been secondary to delivery dates. They've been secondary to getting things done. Whereas with Kubernetes, for a lot of these teams, it is a redo. It's the ability to draw on all those years of experience and technical debt and start fresh, blank slate. And Kubernetes wants you to do it the right way. It desperately wants you to build the abstracts. It wants you to build the workflows. It wants you to work with the grain. And then over the last years, a lot of tooling and a lot of other processes have come on board 